Hello and welcome. This is the second video in the inventory series where I talk about the inventory settings. And the first thing I would like to get across is that in Glasspack LX, products and inventory are two different things. By now you should know that products are found under the products menu in the relevant finder. If you're registered for Autoglass only, you'll only see Autoglass related finders. If you're registered for flat only, you'll see flat glass, fabrications, options, miscellaneous parts, and if you're registered for auto and flat, you'll get the whole shebang here. This product maintenance screen describes the product and its pricing. But inventory is not maintained here. It's maintained using options under the inventory menu. However, if you want to track inventory for certain products, you'll need to check the checkbox labeled Track Inventory. If this is a product you want to source via work orders and not just on manual purchase orders, you want to check this box here that says Work Order Sourceable. By the way, only flat glass items, options, and miscellaneous items will have the Track Inventory option. Checking this for sourcing box will prevent a work order with this item on it from being invoiced if that item has an IC status other than sourced. I would be remiss if I gave you these instructions without pointing out that overall, the system will perform better for you if you do opt for for sourcing. Though it can be a nuisance to have to pause in your invoicing to take care of a sourcing need, but that will prevent a lot of performance issues that can seep in if quantities are allowed to go negative. If you're an Autoglass user, you're thinking about now, what about Autoglass? How do I turn on Autoglass parts for sourcing? Well, parts that are found in the NAX catalog can be set for inventory tracking via one little section bundled into the IC configuration screen. The IC configuration screen is where you'll find the fundamental configuration settings for the whole branch. If you have more than one branch in your software, you'll need to address this in each one. So starting at the top, you have a default IC location, a default trademark, a default picking option, oldest available is auto checked, you can change it to newest available if you want, it's the FIFO versus LIFO there. IC transfer options, it defaults to instant transfer. I suggest for now that you leave it there, if you want to find out more about open requests or what we call the two-step transfer, you can contact us through support to find out more about it. And like I mentioned earlier, the NAGS inventory tracking and sourcing options are right here. So if you want to track inventory for NAGS glass parts, click here. If you want to make NAGS parts work order sourceable, click here. And if you want to force the issue, you'll click here. Specific exceptions. This section is used to override the inventory tracking options of certain types of parts like adhesives, moldings, and other hardware. In other words, if you want to check adhesives, moldings, and other hardware, you can check the same tracking and sourcing options with these boxes here. And you have a chance to set further exceptions to the category options. For instance, if you did not want to track dealer parts or precision or DNK parts, you could leave these boxes unchecked. And further options down below. This first option will ID and track any dealer parts that you receive in as the equivalent NAGS item number. In other words, the IC item created will be based on the NAGS number rather than the dealer number. The next one has to do with the physical inventory tool, which Glasspack LX has, which creates count snapshots that can be posted. This option allows counts to be saved and posted in partial state prior to being finished. Otherwise, it forces you to complete a total count and then post. These next two will tell the system to automatically source parts to work orders if those parts are available according to stock on hand. This one is NAGS, and this one is all other parts. Without this checked, users will use the sourcing screen in the work order to select the parts from stock. And if this last one is checked, whenever a user is receiving parts on manual purchase orders, if that part is being called for by a live work order, the user will be notified about the order and will be asked if they want to source that order with that part. The other setup piece required to allow for both purchase orders and work order sourcing is vendor maintenance. Under purchasing, vendor maintenance is here. The initial required fields for a vendor are name, description, and primary phone number. It's likely you'll want to include more than that, but the most relevant part to inventory and sourcing is the options tab. Here's where you'll tell the system that you want to be able to order from this vendor via purchase orders, 
and also order from the work orders. Make sure you also select the product types that apply. There are other settings you may want to consider based on your needs. These here are printing options for the purchase order document. Down here you can elect for this vendor to be a running PO vendor. So you can add parts from multiple orders to the same PO. And the other one relevant to this discussion is the option labeled do not automatically place POs when sourcing. Typically when sourcing a part from a work order they are created and placed all at once. This overrides that. And that concludes the settings needed in place in order to track the receipt and sourcing of inventory in Glasspack LX. The next videos will show you the tools you can use to maintain your inventory once you begin using this feature.